Okay, that's enough snow. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Just threw my mouse off the table. I haven't even started playing yet. I'm not, I'm not angry enough to start throwing shit. That was accidental. Alright, got my shit. There we go. Hours it's been eleven. All right, everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias, our pride and joy, our weapon, and most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before, but she's one odd-looking ship. The Von Eltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy <clears throat> ship, capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting, if you ask me. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago, when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us. Here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure. Some are looking to test their fate. And some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a ragtag bunch of rogues, that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to like he's doing an Irish universe, accent, but he but can't commit to it. We stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's why you boarded this ship. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. And then Eifried stole the ship. Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lubber worthy of little notice. I suppose being a Reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the Far Continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. Got to open up my chat. There we go. Here you go, anyways. Just when are we going to be allowed free access through Vortigern? Having to go all the way around it every time is far too inconvenient. If they insist on building a big gate over the sea, the least they can do is let honest folk through it. I get why you're upset, but maybe they just haven't been able to devote the resources to fix it after those savage demons wrecked the place. Look, those demons who attacked Helavis are still on the loose, aren't they? Yep. Standing right here. From what I heard, the demons who wrecked Vortigern were the same ones that killed the High Priest. What? No way. Wait a minute. 
The high priest was killed? Yeah. The official story is that he's injured or sick or something. But I heard differently. Then no wonder they haven't had time for Vortigern. I hope the Abbey finds those demons quick. Those monsters need to pay for what they did. Hmm, looks like our infamy is growing by the day. Maybe they've even put a bounty on us by now. They keep embellishing our escapades, though. I'm honestly a little hurt they're calling us monsters. The more they embellish, the easier it is for us to get around. Confusion and panic will only help us. Chester, re-chestified. That chest is rechested. This one is not. Apparently, I missed one somewhere too. Man, I heard that the merchants in Port Renied are making a killing now that the Seagate is shut tight. No, no, no. Nothing compared to a merchant like you. There are people profiting from this? What are you talking about? Anyone who wants to head to North Gan has to sail around West Gan now. And those ships need to put into Port Renied for supplies. That is true. Still, it's only until Vortigern is repaired. Your friends in Renid wouldn't happen to be paying off the Abbey to delay repairs, would they? You think that'd work on the Abbey? They're not as lax as the church was. So that's it. You're in cahoots with the church. Hey, relax. I'm just saying, there's a lot of nasty rumors circulating about those priests. So not everyone's been hurt by Vortigern's closure. Interesting. There's a front and back to every coin. Except your coin only ever turns up tails. That's the back side. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Bloodwing Butterflies operate in the Empire's shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the Underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, the Bloodwings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorius. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the Shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The incident with the Nectar was the Church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! A black, full-chested dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? Missed the chest that's shown on the map, or did I miss Here one before? Here we are, back in Logris. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. More <laughs> funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo! I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. I might have. Just a little... Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo, coo. Is Inominat's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive, but none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. It's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avaros civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while. Seems like they're stronger now. No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Fire to the flesh! Make the pay! Crucial whip! Here 
back now right at the start of the game it told me that they grow back it's been a long time since I've been here You're squawking. with the attack. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Where I started it up nowhere near enemies before and still had it go. Recently, I ran away from a fight by activating it nowhere near the enemies and running away while I was in berserk mode. So what the fuck? I landed a hit when that scenario happened. 
even if I wasn't trying to. I thought we were done for. Guess that explains one mystery of why shit seems all fucked up. I don't know how I get knocked out of it, how I get killed in it, why it doesn't activate half the time. But I figured out why it, uh, it fizzles on activation. So that's one mystery. sure is big yeah with historical buildings and artisans and all there's much of interest here for a boy who loves to learn uh-huh sightseeing's nice and all but don't wander off and get lost oh yeah sorry don't worry about him he can take care of himself i know i was just saying you look like travelers I have some good news for you. The restrictions on travel to the Aldina Plains are going to be lifted soon. The road's opening back up! So, that's the latest word on the streets? Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. I try to liven things up around here. <laughs> well, ever since Lord Artorius became the Shepherd, demon attacks have gone down. The world's filled with hardships. But perhaps things are starting to go in the right direction. Perhaps. The demons who nearly destroyed Helavis are still skipping about on the loose, though. What? And just the other day, a village near Isalt was destroyed by the demon blight. Guess the capital doesn't mind, though. What? Don't worry about it. Your shepherd and the abbey are going to save the world, right? Um, listening to you has kind of gotten me all nervous again. If you hear any other scary stories, let me know, please. Hmm, I've got one with fresh blood, melted bodies. Oh, oh, maybe that tale about the demon doll that comes alive! If you're going to waste time, we're leaving you here. Well, that's enough of this detour, then. Sorry to be such a drag. Wait! That doll one sounded really cool! What's with this crowd? Majalu's troop just put on a real show. Man, it was the best! Her dancing was every bit as great as I'd heard. Wow, the Majalu? Surely you mean Mogilu! Has my time to bask in fame finally come at long last? No, we're talking about Majalu, not Mogilu. You know, Lulu, the famous dancer? She actually goes by the majestic Lulu, but everyone calls her Majulu. Just watching the beauty of her dance, you can't help but feel like maybe everything's gonna turn out okay in the world. Sounds like a pretty cheerful act she has. Cheerful? This is all a rip-off! She's just trying to pass off as Magilu's menagerie and profit from our good name! What good name? We don't actually perform anything. getting started eventually but now this con artist comes along and ruins everything i can't just ignore that you know <gasps> it's modulo you did great today modulo i loved it thank you so much but according to my teacher i still have a long way to go i'll work hard to do better next time so i hope you'll come see me Modulo's teacher is a dancer named Balta, whose immense talent brought him all the fame in the world. But Balta suffered a tragic injury that took him forever from the stage, and now Modulo was working hard to carry out his dream. Hm. So, you're Modulo then? I am. My teacher and I work really hard to put on performances that'll leave a lasting impact. And I refuse to let anyone call me a phony. Oh? to stop me taking it to the stage and seeing which one of us can better hold a crowd yes that's just what i was hoping for Lulu, don't go around picking petty fights 
But, sir, this woman, she... You should know better. If you have the energy to spare spitting vitriol at people, you should refocus that anger into moving your body. If you need to express yourself, do it on the stage. Y yes sir. You're right. <sighs> Teacher, is the pain acting up again? No, he's just doing it's that for no fun. Matter. What does pain compare to losing the ability to dance? Anyway, what matters is how you're holding up. I I'm fine, sir. Good. Then let's head back and practice some more. He seems strict. He does. But keep in mind that Balta recognized her talent at a young age. He even adopted her so he could pass on everything he knew. He might be strict, but only because he believes in her. You sure know an awful lot about them. I'm... sort of a fan of theirs, you could say. A teacher and his student, chasing after the same dream. What a sweet little story they have. That's why I think it's high time for Moggy Lou's Menagerie to put on a show. And for our act, we'll be a comedy duo. Comedy? Where'd you get that idea? You heard me propose a challenge to little Majalu, right? But not one of you knows a single acrobatic trick! Sorry... Don't apologize. You couldn't have seen this coming. Well, you could act like you feel a little bad at least. Velvet does a shitload now, of flip normally I'd make you guys do something flashy like jump through a ring of fire. But I'll be magnanimous and let you do comedy instead. With comedy, I can take control of the stage and keep things lively. I can feed you the audience on a platter. But... But going on the same stage as Majulu... It's too much to handle. Oh, I can't wait to take her down a peg or two. I'm out. I don't even know why you're bothering. It's hopeless. It's not hopeless! Plus, if we do well, we'll be raking in the dough! What better opportunity do we have to get started than now? After all, people will come thinking we're Majalu's troop. You're sure eager to profit off of her good name. That's exactly the material I want. Keep throwing out such zingers and the audience will be in stitches. I'm not sure I follow, but okay. The only thing getting thrown out is gonna be you. You know, I think you could pull off being the straight man in our act. What? Keep your compliments to yourself. Yeah, she's a this gay woman. This might sound dumb, but more money never hurts. Aizen, not you too. Then it's settled. Now we just need to book ourselves a few gigs. I've got an in with all the stage directors in town. For now, I think everyone should pair up so we can figure out just what sort of comedy chops you all have. Everybody? Even me? Certainly. Each one of you is a part of Moggy Lou's menagerie, after all. I... I'm not so sure about this. Whenever I hear Magilu's name, I can't help but think of Magilanica. Magilanica? Who's that? Oh, she's just a girl who worked as part of the freak show. Talked to spirits nobody else could see. That's her, all right. She had many mysterious powers, like moving things without touching them and divining where people would find lost objects. For a time, people called her the Little Witch. She was pretty popular. Thanks to her, the rest of the troop took in plenty of cash. Or so I hear. Yeah, but eventually they took it too far, and the kingdom tried them for heresy. I hear Magilanica was subjected to really brutal torture. True fact. Everyone knows this story. Well, I've never heard it. That's not too surprising. It all took place when I was a young woman myself. Remind me, Magilu. How old are you again? What? How old would you say I am? Well, from your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age.
weird that it randomly did that. I was not the one who made it suddenly pop up. I was not touching that stick. The way this game has random input sometimes is a little disturbing. When will the High Priest return to us? He Never, he did. Us, but I heard Lord Gideon was killed by demons. Surely that's not true. It most certainly is true. Hey, shh, they'll hear you. I know someone who works in the palace, and he said the demon was a girl with the head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. But Accurate. how could a demon have gotten into the palace? Apparently, there was a power struggle among the higher-ups, and Gideon's enemies snuck the demon into his villa. They say that's why people sometimes heard terrifying screams coming from the place. Oh, is the demon still there? No idea. Rumor says she escaped, but I wouldn't worry. There's no way she'd stick around here. That's what you think. She's right here, so you'd better watch out. Stop messing around already. The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Helavis is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Killeraus, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't Lord give a Scott. damn about any of you. How dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about. Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Sorry about that. She didn't get to see his speech, so she's been taking it out on everyone around her. Really? What a troublesome kid! But really, that speech was incredible. Really, it was pretty unmemorable. I barely remembered it happened. Really, all I remember from it is her trying to claw up the wall and failing. Eleanor, I need you to wait outside. The boss of the Blood Wings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Luffy said, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. Take the Enfu, too. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh. It would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. The prison island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. Turn yeah. that into a hub? Could make a decent hideout, actually. 
The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. All right, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. It's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifrib would do. That's all. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. <sighs> What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. But, um... You... you can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well, we'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just, you know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know. But his hawk seemed extraordinarily well-trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. <laughs> Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> It can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But... We're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite. All right. Show him. Oh.
Or a little bit while I'm here. I think when I go back to the ship after I do Titania back for the Kraken. I'm assuming by now that I can go after the Kraken again. The little story with the kid that you can't take back there. Cause she's all crybaby about her mom. I think that's over. So I think I can go back there now. Can't go in there though. Need to. Heart? Um, yeah, sort of. came down here. Clearly is front, but okay. Game doesn't know an ass from a face. They were nothing.
on. A little jaunt through here to go ahead and level up a bit. Not level up, but uh, get skills on my fucking items that are neglected. I don't think I'm gonna get much EXP out of this, but it still get the uh, what you call it equipment experience. Still get EXP here. Oh, if I get fights like that, anyways. Over here. Finish this now. Oh, yeah, you won't get away. Oh, 
Try as they might. I don't think we have a chance. The power. The power. Crash through. Finish. You're the best. The power. The power. Did you think you could escape me? And they drop a lot of loot. Kind of obvious. Show you the beauty of my power. Here's 
We're finished here. Oh, I'll I didn't even see the thing. Did you think you could escape? Bunch of equipment drops they have. The, the health ones and think, eh, that's kind of useless and break it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna see here. Move along. That little jaunt into the basement got me some gear for the people that weren't in the party yet. New shit for them to get skills out of. So it was uh, not a wasted trip. I mean, EXP and progress towards uh, equipment, that's also good. As if we go back to the real beginning areas and get shit from there. Sure eventually I can. Are we ready for this? Bullshit. Flew behind me and hit me in the back.
not. More shit to break down. I think it's break time. Eyes hurt. Could you fit my comedy act into tonight's show? I'm still breaking in my new partner, but I can carry the act. I'd appreciate you squeezing us in. For you, Maggie dear, I'll do it as a personal favor, but you get 200 flat. No expenses, no per diem. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. It gets worse. Our headliner is doubling up after, and the opener flubbed their lines and lost us minutes. Playing deuce for a cold house? Well, all right. Them's the breaks. What the hell are you even saying? I'm and saying she's we're middling going in obscurity. And you are my straight man. What? You are serious? I'll take care of the actual funny bits. Just act like you always do and we'll be fine. Bonus points if you toss the men in the audience a glare of contempt every now and then. Just trust me. Oh, hold on. This is all happening so fast. I'm not sure I'm ready for... You'd better get ready because the curtain's going up. We're Moggy and Val, your lovely comedians for today! Magic Kazam! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show! Now, I'm Moggy, the bright beaming one in the pair, while my moody little partner here is... <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Val? Everything okay? You need to put some energy into this or we're in trouble! Come on, if you've got one redeeming feature, it's your moxie! That might be, but this is different. I can see you're going through something right now. All right, let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> it's bombing. For just one moment. Velvet, what are you doing? We're losing the audience. I, I can't help it. They've never talked in front of such a big crowd before. Wait, don't tell me you've got stage fright. So what if How I are they not already booing? So unlike you. I'm booing. Just pretend that you're fighting some Boo. nasty exorcist and give it some gusto. Easy for you to say. I'm embarrassed out here. Don't be such a girl. I am a girl. That's it. Just do that, but project your voice. I can't, and I don't want to. You're a comedian, and you have to. Where's your passion for your newfound art? I'm not one, and I've never had any. No, I can see it within you, deep down, the burning passion of a true artist at heart. I've had enough! I can't do this with you! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Show's over. Well, you've certainly shown me something new. A comedy team that just stands on stage whispering to each other. We're going for a brand new comedic style. So, <laughs> what did you think? <sighs> Don't quit your day job. That's what I thought. Now she plays the straight man. This is bull crap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous. Hmm? Looks like they're at it again. Benwick, snap out of it! Benwick! Huh? I was haggling for supplies, and... Tell you what. I'll give you a fair price. Actually, just take what you need. <sighs> we should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity, rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit. What? Uh... Are you sure? Uh, uh... No. Wait. What was I saying? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah. It disappeared. 
But I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain. A Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? <laughs> I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. So... the suppression... Well, that was certainly off-putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Hey, we have seen this game a lot right? to me if you can what actually build a hideout. Spouting, That's one spirited old man. Well, it's just that you suddenly got all polite on me, and you were all like, Oh no, good chum, worry not about your debt to me. I thought I said stop spouting nonsense. It's not nonsense. You did say it. I heard you say it. He did. But we were all acting strangely. You said, after you, fine sir. And I said, no, 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 I simply couldn't. You first, dear friend. There's no way in hell I would ever let you go first. Come to think of it, that's right. But he said not to worry about our debts and now he's taking it back? That's inhuman, cruel, ruthless. They lost control of themselves, but still have their memories. Maybe something was manipulating them. What in the world happened to us? I don't get it, but what I do get is that he said we don't owe him nothing. So my debt to you is off, right, old man? Same here! Same here! Shut your traps! I'd be flat broke if I let you knuckleheads off the hook. Now shut up and pay up! Something really strange happened here. Seems so. And I think this is just the beginning of it. go back to kill the Kraken, which was what I was gonna do, I guess to Titania. Alright, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Ilmid Asgard, crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh is rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me, at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The prince... He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. Artorius pulls some shit. We could actually build up this hideout, make an army of demons or some shit. That would be cool. The whole island's a prison. 
It's like a secret fort or something. Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. Hmm. <laughs> Let's scope out the inside. An exorcist. Are you all right? Yeah, he looks fine. Headless knights back. She's dead. The headless knight is back. Think this is the demon that attacked her? Hmm. Another prison riot? Kurogane, dial. You two protect Kamoana and the prince. Got Understood. Why do I justify what we have people's bodies here that aren't fighting? They were both boss battles, so they should both be capable of fighting. I'm not one to go easy. So did the Abbey actually fail to quell the riot? I find that hard to believe. The prison was heavily staffed with exorcists. Perhaps it was venomization. Venomization? A dark ritual. Forcing demons to eat each other in order to produce ever stronger demons. So the demons devoured each other, creating a demon too powerful for the exorcists to control? I imagine the riot didn't help. Now whose fault could that have been, I wonder? Whatever happened doesn't matter to us now. We need to focus on how to take this place for ourselves. That exorcist from before said something about a headless knight, right? That one's probably the leader. Then we hunt it down and destroy it. Until we capture the island, let's use this room for our staging ground. I'll leave the Prince and Kamoana to you two. Eliminate any enemies who come in. Understood. Don't expect much from me, but all right. Kamoana, if anything happens, call for me and I'll come running to protect you, okay? Okay. You stay safe too, Eleanor. Let's go. About the bug. Protect the bug too. Bugs just as important as the annoying child. Oh, 
That one's not good for chaining them to jump back and then you miss. I still need a lot of training. Are we ready for this? Kill my way? Critical for a while here. Guys? Guys? Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Come on, really? So that's out here? Can't be right? Dead end with a couple monsters in it. That looks like it's something, but there's no question marks popping up. Doesn't look like something on the map. Okay, just a random dead end. Why not? My eyes are burning from staring at this screen, so it's gonna take me a little break. I haven't eaten since I woke up, so I'll probably do that too. So I'm gonna take a long break. <laughs> <laughs> 